This is our V-Meter product. It's a touch strip with blue LEDs, and its main application is music. It detects both position and pressure and outputs USB MIDI. If you're a programmer though, you can also just use it as an I.O. device. I've got a couple of scripts written in Python to demonstrate this. One simple thing is that I can overwrite the default column display to just make it a cursor. I can also adjust the size of that cursor, or make the cursor size dependent on pressure. And potentially useful, here is a CPU monitor. And here's what happens when I load up a website. Surprisingly taxing. This is a binary counter demo. And for more binary, this is a binary clock demonstration. It's a little hard to read, but I guess that's not the point. Each flashing light represents a marker of a digit, and it's in military time. So this is 0, 8, 3, 4. So 8.34 in the morning, and then seconds are down here. Then we have a simple chase. And building on the idea of a chase, what if we make touch an input? So that it acts like a scrolling page or maybe a treadmill. And finally, we've got a game of life simulation. Normally, it's over a two-dimensional grid, but here I've adjusted the rules for a linear operation. Every cycle, each LED decides whether to turn on or off, depending on how many of its neighbors are on. The interesting thing about game of life simulations is that different starting patterns lead to totally different outcomes. That pattern in particular just died off. So that's the end of our non-musical demonstrations using Python. You're free, however, to use whatever language you'd like, as long as you can send out MIDI commands. All the source code and more details are at vmeter.net.